Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a blessed evening. All right, everyone. So I did a little survey uh, to see what you guys would want to have in the next video of. So this is what everybody picked. They picked this uh, vessel screwdriver. It is a striking screwdriver, or it does have a striking cap on it from Vessel. Uh, again, this one here, they are made in Japan. A lot of Japanese writing on here, so I'm not sure what this uh, says here, but this is a number 250. And it is a number two Phillips, as you can see there, by um, 100 millimeters, I guess that is uh, speaking of the length on it. So we're going to go over all that and uh, just see if it's really the true length of the screwdriver or whatnot. So let's, uh, we can pop this out of this little case that it comes in. Now, as you can see here, this is a, uh, it's like a clear plastic that it comes, comes in, it's uh, coated in here. And the shank here, you do have a little bit of the uh, paint marks on it here. Again, and it does have the same uh, printing on it. It's the number 250. It's a P2 Phillips by 100. And it's a CRV, so it's chrome vanadium hardened is what it says, mag. And um, as you do see, you got a little, uh, like an engraving here of the vessel name. Again, you got the nice rubber here for the handle, for the gnarling to uh, help hold it and then you got fingers or you got flat spots here to help it uh, should help it from rolling like that so you have those flat spots there and then again you have the diamond pattern as well around there and this is like I said this is all like a plastic covering and then I don't know if you can see in there or not but there's a okay, so it is a ceramic ball is what it is and it's supposed to help with you striking against I guess something that might cause elect electric shock or if you're using this in an electric panel or something you striking it and the, uh, the electricity transferring up through the screwdriver into the top, possibly even maybe even giving you a shock. So that's what that uh, ball inside there is for. It's supposed to help with like a shock or anything like that. Uh, you come down here to the tip here and it just has a nice uh, black coating on it. Um, now this doesn't have the, uh, the ridges in the top to help hold with the screwdriver. And I believe this is also magnetic. We will be uh, testing that with a, a screw and we'll just see if it's actually uh, magnetic or not. So let's go ahead. I got this uh, calipers here. It says that the shank is 100, 100 millimeters long. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll just uh, measure it here from the, just, just the part that's exposed here. So I got that right there and we're right at... 72 millimeters so it says 100 millimeters let's put this at 100 millimeters just to give us an idea of what the uh where it's actually uh saying it should be so 100 millimeters is here so and this actually comes all the way up to here so i don't know where they're getting 100 millimeters it's actually a little bit shorter than 100 millimeters um just to give you an overall length of it, we're not going to, I'm not going to measure it in millimeters. We'll just measure it in a, just a standard form here. Uh, this is about eight inches long here, as you can see. It's about eight inch, eight inch long screwdriver. And uh, like I said, let's go get a, uh, get a screwdriver and a screw. And we will see, I got some screws right here, actually. Screws, and we'll see how uh, magnetic these uh, tips really are. See if they'll, how, if they'll pick them up or not so yeah there you go it is magnetic and then uh put a screw in there and just give it a little give it a little shake it stays on there pretty good not too bad and like i said it's it goes down in there it fits inside here really well but you can definitely hear the uh ceramic ball inside there but like i said i really haven't had a chance to use this thing yet um now i do have these other screwdrivers from uh gear wrench these are impact screwdrivers where they turn it an, uh, an eighth of an inch or whatever, a sixteenth of an inch at the bottom when you strike it. This is not that. This doesn't turn or pivot or anything when you hit it. There's no cam action inside there. It's just um, just a um, through shank, like I said, with the ceramic ball just, you know, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't break. And I don't know how good the ceramic ball will hold up if it's going to crack or break inside. You know, I don't know. It kind of forces you can actually put on this thing without uh, without actually breaking it. And it does show you a little bit uh, of a picture here on the side of this with the striking ball or with the ceramic ball inside of it as well. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. thought it was a pretty cool idea. I was uh, 
I was on online and I had to buy something off Amazon and I was like two or three dollars short. So I just like, I, I got to get something. And I've been looking at these vessel striking cap screwdrivers for a while. So this was like a perfect opportunity. I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and just pick one up. We can try it out and uh, find out if it uh, this plastic and all this stuff holds up well or not. The ceramic ball holds up well. So I can uh, definitely do a follow-up video once I get a chance to use this screwdriver and see how it holds up. But uh, that's it, everyone. I just want to say thank you. God bless everyone and just have a great evening.